Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. This probably isn't your first time on the channel, but it is probably your first time seeing some content provided for free by Konami relating to Toon Chaos. But I'm going to reveal some of it to you. I was debating whether to tell you if I sort of hacked into the system or did something really cool, but actually what happened is they emailed me and said, Joe, we've somehow been convinced that you're good enough for this kind of stuff. Would you like some free content? And I said, okay. So what goodies am I bringing you today? That is the burning question here. You'll have seen the elusive thumbnail, all of the hidden information. You are going to see in this video the reveal of not one, not two, but three imports into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. That's right, three new cards that have not yet seen print in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG will be available for you to see in this very video. On top of that, I have a ton of information about reprints galore and some really insane ones. When I saw this list, I was taken aback. My breath was gone. So thank you very much for reaching out, Konami, and thank you very much, guys, for checking in, and we'll get stuck right in to the video. So let's not mess around. Let's get into the crazy stuff that is coming in Toon Chaos. After all, I only make up 10% of the reason you're here, and what you really want is that import announcement goodness. Well then, wait no longer for our first reveal. Immortal Phoenix Gearfried. Before we do get started though, can we just take a moment to appreciate this insane artwork? Immortal Phoenix Gearfree boasts an impressive 3000 attack and 2200 defense, but it's by no means just a big boy with an even bigger weapon. Seriously though, that's a huge sword. But he also has some absolutely sick effects too. Immortal Phoenix Gearfree might be a 9 star behemoth, but do not despair. We need not tribute anything to bring him out onto the field of battle. By banishing a single equip spell from your field or graveyard, you can special summon it from the hand. But the madness does not stop there. If he attacks, he can, in the damage step, equip a face-up monster on the field to himself, giving himself a 500 attack boost. Note, I didn't say your side of the field. That's right, he can snatch the opponent's monster, give himself a gain in attack power, and start clapping the opponent's monsters. That sounds pretty good, right? Well... There's more, he even has a quick effect which allows him to negate a monster effect activation and destroy that monster by sending a face-up equip card you control to the graveyard. This card is absolutely wild and we all know one particular set of warriors that love their equip cards that he might just have to team up with. By no means are we done. We promised you excitement and import madness in the bucket load and not once, not twice, but thrice we will deliver on that promise. We've had Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed, so where do we go from here? Well, if it's Equip Spells Gear Freed once, then it's Equip Spells Gear Freed will get. That's right, our next import reveal is Super Magic Sword of Raptinus. This card allows you to go through some sneaky shenanigans, giving you the ability to make a normal summon happen in the battle phase. Who needs rules anyway? So let me clarify this one for you a little in case you're confused. So at the start of the battle phase, you can change the equipped monster's battle position and then normal summon a monster from your hand. It also gives the equipped monster some additional protection too. If it's equipped to a monster that's in attack position, it can't be targeted by card effects. And if it's in defense position, it can't be destroyed by battle. This sounds like an excellent card to pair with our already announced Immortal Phoenix Gearfried, as if he wasn't a force enough to be reckoned with already. And now for our third and final import announcement. We take a slightly different path this time. Forget about warriors and equip spells. Let's go into cyberspace. We take new addition to the cyburst type monsters with the fantastic code generator. Code Generator is a level 3 earth attribute cyburst type monster with some insanely cool effects and some equally sweet artwork. What is better than working your way through Link Monsters by using materials on your field? Well, how about from your hand? You heard me right. If a Cyburst monster you control would be used as a Link material to make a Code Talker monster, you can also use this card in your hand as material too. But from here, this card only gets better. If Code Generator is sent from your hand or field as Link material to summon a Code Talker monster, you can send one Cyburst monster with 1200 or less attack from your deck to the graveyard. But if you use this card from the field as material, instead of using it from your hand, you can add that 1200 attack monster to your hand instead. 
You can use this card to advance all kinds of cybers themed decks lines of play, fetching cards like Firewall Guardian, some of the Agnista monsters, and even sending Dotscaper from the deck to the grave to give you additional extenders. But just because we're done with the imports, that doesn't mean that we're done with the announcements. You're here for some reprints too, aren't you? Well, would I let you down? Could we really have this set being called Toon Chaos without some Chaos Monsters dropping in on us? Well, there's some sweet Chaos-themed reprints for you to sink your teeth into, with the likes of Chaos Sorcerer, Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning, and an awesome reprint for one of the most feared cards ever printed in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Encore! Encore! I hear you say. Well, of course! I'm happy to oblige. We've also got some insane reprints coming in for the cards that were previously exclusive to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Link Evolution game, which offers a huge support to the existing Cyburst type decks such as Salamangre and more. Here's a second chance for you to own the fantastic Microcoder, Proglio and Cynet Codec. And what better way to round this video off than with even more reprint announcements. We've also got stuff for Hero fans, Black Luster Soldier lovers, Exceed enthusiasts, and even for people who don't mind paying a small price for a big potential reward. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Toon Chaos looks to be an absolutely incredible set and I'm sure it will be available at your local OTS store upon release. There are going to be plenty more reveals out and about. You should definitely have a look out for those. There'll be people spoiling that content for you that I haven't been able to bring you. Stuff that I don't even know about even with my newfound knowledge and power. But I digress. Thank you very much again for checking in. You should definitely go and hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one.